All right, so welcome to another beautiful Saturday morning. This is uh, April, what is today? April 13th or 12th or something like that. And I am um, in uh, section of State Forest here in Pennsylvania, just south of Warnersville in Berks County, PA, William Penn State Forest. And uh, I was here, last summer I was here, and I did a video on uh, the Doan Gang, about this being a place possibly mentioned in their in their literature about the Doan Gang. The Doan Gang goes back to the late 1700s. They were uh, during the Revolutionary War. They are like British spies and they stole from people in here and whatnot. And uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go through that whole story again, but supposedly they uh, were uh, captured in this gap that we're in and uh, may have buried some treasure in here somewhere. <laughs> so, but uh, also this is, there were several Indian towns located just down the stream here. And uh, so I'm just here today just to kind of explore a little bit. Um, I've never, when I was here last summer, it was extremely hot and buggy and I didn't really do much walking around. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna explore this area. Um, not too far from home. So I don't wanna call this video yet, but I'm here just looking. It's spring too, so I did find some cool wildflowers down here, which we'll look at in a moment. So I'll be out here looking for nature, for history, Maybe some, it'd be cool to find some Native American artifacts. Like I said, it'd be cool to find some arrowheads in the stream, maybe, since there were Indian villages just down there, so. And uh, I just met a viewer too. He was driving down the road and he recognized my uh, my truck that's parked down there. So we, we talked for a while. I think his name was Matt. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, this will be one of my rambling videos where I just hike around and ramble. Not even, I'm not even on trail right now, so. We shall see what we find. We'll go ahead and take a look at these flowers down here first. So these are some really neat looking flowers down here. Okay, washed out by the sun a little bit. But this is called, this is hepatica. Sometimes it's called round-leafed hepatica. You notice the, the leaf has three lobes. Um, hepatica means liver, because a, a liver has three lobes and so do the leaves here. So, I, so they thought because it looked like a liver, a lot of times for medicinal purposes, they would use this plant for issues dealing with the liver. Um, there's a name for that kind of science where people thought when plants were shaped like certain organs and stuff that they could help medicinally for that organ. I forget what it's called, but, so that's kind of called hepatica. They're actually kind of, some places are kind of rare, but there's quite a few of them growing here, so. All right, we're gonna get this trek going and see what we can find out here today. Yeah, I just wanna mention that treasure again I was talking about earlier. One thing I'm kind of looking for as I walk through this valley here is stuff like that big rock back there. Because if you had, if that story I said is indeed true about if this is the correct place, um, if you had to bury a treasure quickly, a lot of times you'd pick a prominent landmark, like a large stone, you know, to bury it by. So if you had to come back and look for it, you knew, oh, hey, remember that large rock? So who knows? Anyway, kind of looking for stuff like that too. Well, here's some more of that hepatica, but this, these flowers are much more like a paler white than the other ones. The other ones kind of have like a purple, bluish tinge to them. So they do vary in color. Yeah, just up there were those hepaticas, but here are some other flowers that are some spring flowers. This one is not blooming quite yet. But it's gonna open up shortly. These are trout lilies. In the spring, when you see leaves like this, that are kind of green and spotted like that. Those are trout lilies. And every now and then one has a bloom on it. This will open up quite a bit more. Just not, maybe today it will yet. So we might find some others today that are in bloom. We'll keep our eyes open. They're kind of hard to find sometimes. Just because the flower bends down and not up, so you kind of walk past it. There's some fiddleheads over here too. Let's check these out. These are here's some ferns growing here, but these are the these are the fiddleheads. 
These are the fronds when they first come up in the spring, little fiddleheads. And uh, you can eat fiddleheads. So um, it's best to cook them first, though. I'm not gonna just pop these in my mouth. I know a lot of my videos, I just pop stuff in my mouth and eat it, but I think I'd prefer to cook those first. So, all right, cool. So I'm gonna keep on exploring. I haven't gotten very far, but we already found some flowers and stuff, so. All right, let's keep exploring. Yeah, right by this cool waterfall, there's another wildflower down here. That's bloodroot. Yeah, bloodroot is an interesting, uh, it's an interesting plant, actually. It has some pretty strong medicinal properties. Um, it's been used to make a, I've talked about this in other videos, but it's, been, it's used to make a salve called black salve. And it actually like eats away cancer and other gross. Um, it can actually be very painful because it's like, it's literally eating away the, the bad flesh or the, you know, the, the what are you gonna call it, the bad flesh, yeah. The tumors and stuff, so. Yeah, interesting plant. But I was kind of looking over there too for arrowheads. Because there's a cool waterfall. And here's a better look at that blood root. That's what the leaf looks like. So this is turning out to be quite a nice little spring hike. There's all kinds of interesting things coming up these days. Here's some trilliums. Trilliums. They're not blooming yet, but I'm, I'm definitely have to come back here later in a week or so to see what kind these are. You can see the buds right there. There's different types of trilliums here in Pennsylvania. I don't know what those kind are. Because the May apples are coming up. And over here you have little jack in the pulpit plants. Because if you lift up the pulpit, you can see jack sitting on the inside in there there's jack so these are these are jack in a pulpit plants they all have little little cool little hooded like pitchers or cups i guess you'd call them but they're not pitcher plants they're jack in a pulpit that's cool a whole bunch of them growing up there let's get a closer look of one up here so here's another one here's the pulpit he lifts it up, and there's Jack standing inside the pulpit. <laughs> All right. Okay, remember earlier I was talking about the trout lilies? Well, here's one right here that's in full bloom. I'll tip it up a little bit, you can see the full, how the full flower looks. See how they kind of rest with their head facing down a little bit, so sometimes you can miss them. But there's a trout lily in all its glory. All right, well, I hope you're enjoying our little uh, woodland ramble here so far. I've just been following this little feeder stream up the, up the hill here. Um, lots of wildflowers. I didn't know, I wasn't expecting to see that many so far, but it's that time of year, I guess. No, no Indian artifacts yet, so, or anything historical, but like I said, I'm just out here rambling, so we'll see what we can find. Beautiful hike so far though. It's nice to see all the flowers and the green stuff coming out after a long cold winter. So yeah, it's nice. All right, I'm gonna keep heading up the hill behind me here. We'll see what else we can find.
waterfalls and going to little pools of water and stuff. Pretty scenic out here this morning. Well, I believe we have found something man-made up here. Some sort. Little, someone built a little ring of rocks here. Not sure who may have done that. Or when. You know, wishful thinking is that it was Native Americans that did that. Or some of the pioneers. Or maybe it was the, the Doan gang that I mentioned earlier. Or it could have been just a bunch of uh, neighborhood kids from up the hill that came down here and were building a little fort. So, But let's just... We could just pretend it was Native Americans or the or the notorious Doan gang. You know, maybe there's a large rock there. Like I said, I was looking for those large rocks earlier in the video. So maybe uh, maybe there's some buried treasure underneath this rock. That's probably just neighborhood kids. So I think there are at the top of this hill. I think there's a, a neighborhood up there. All right. Well, we can we can wish we can think wishfully if we want to. So I'm just kind of sitting in this feature here that I found, man-made feature. I have to admit, it does kind of have a defensive nature to it, you know, because you could sit here, you know, in, in where I'm at, and you have a whole view of the valley down there. So if you were defending this spot from people down below, you, know, you could hide behind these rocks, I guess, and shoot at people or whatever it is they had, whatever weapons they were using. So that's just a thought. I just noticed that when I was sitting here. It is, it is a good position for that. But anyway, more more wishful thinking maybe. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this little stream now and head in another direction, I think. I think we're gonna head all over that way, I guess. We'll see. I've climbed up these hills, so maybe I'll stay up here or go down, or I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna ramble, like I said, so. We're gonna leave this little stream. Find another blood root flower here. They can be rare sometimes, just because of the aforementioned uh, medicinal properties. Sometimes they get over harvested in some areas because they are worth. Well, I mean, they are worth money to some people. So, but uh, yeah, you know, it is illegal to dig up wildflowers, so don't don't come out here in the woods and dig them all up and try to make a bunch of money off of them. So. <laughs> Here's an interesting mound of rocks. Of course, it could be almost anything. It's not natural, but you know, you know, sometimes back in the pioneer days, you know, they if this at one time was a field or a pasture, which is possible, maybe they would have piled all the rocks up here. Or, you know, it could be an Indian mound. Probably not, but or maybe there's a buried treasure under there, you know? I mean, that's where the Doan gang buried their treasure underneath this rock pile. There's more of that wishful thinking. But uh, it's probably the, the first thing I said. It's probably just a place where some rocks are piled up. Maybe there was like a, a field or pasture up here. But it kind of does look like a mound, almost like the shape of a burial mound. It has that look to it. If we're honest with each other, I think. Alright, and let me know what you think of that.
Yeah, I'm still here staring at this. I'm just kind of curious. I mean, I don't know about a field or pasture. We're kind of on a, we're kind of on a hill, and there's a steep drop off there, so I don't know. And I'm seeing other, I'm seeing other rocks out here. Like there's a big one over there that were not, you know, piled up. So I don't know. Unless this was the edge of a field, I don't know. Just has to be curious what might, what could be under there. I'm not gonna dig it out. This is on, I am on state forest land. I don't know if they would appreciate me uh, digging all these stones out. So not that they would know, but anyway, just kind of curious what could be under there. Well, there's another mound right here. We were just over there was that other one, but this one's in a little worse shape. Once again, there are rocks all over the place around it, so if they're clearing... Well, it will just, we'll just look like a field here, but who knows. Maybe it's like a property marker too. Or I don't know. Anyway, like I said, you can let me know what you think. Wishful thinking is allowed. I'm making my way back down to the main creek down here. I do want to mention something important in association with with possible stuff like Indian mounds and stuff like that. Um, not that not that those are, but if you do come across stuff like that, um, you shouldn't just start digging them up for yourself, excavating for yourself, because you could be destroying a potentially important historical site and stuff. You know, it's not. Um, there's too many. They have issues with that. People going out and finding Native American sites and then just digging them all up and destroying the site in hopes of finding something valuable or something. So uh, don't do that. I've read accounts of people have been posting that online, how they found some stacked rock structures out in the woods. They just start digging them up, you know, looking for stuff and they just destroy it then. So don't do that, all right? Um, yeah, keep it preserved. Just walking along the the stream side here looking for arrowheads and stuff but not finding anything along here well, I'm back at the truck so <clears throat> I think I'm gonna end this little adventure here I'm gonna go I can try and do some other another hike today as well I think but I gotta go get something to eat first probably stop at McDonald's so, not the best place to eat, but got to eat somewhere. So, I guess I'm talking to my, I hate when people drive by, they see you like talking to your camera and they just kind of slow down and stare at you. So, yes, I'm talking to my camera. So, anyway, um, thanks for coming along. Got to see some neat wildflowers up there and some interesting uh, stone structures up there. Like I said, they could just be simple little items or, you know, or something more. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you around hopefully.